Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as the Russian Empire, the largest military power in the world. So last time we had a great war against the UK, and we won, but unfortunately, it wasn't I who started the great war, it was Germany. So we'll still see what happens when they continue to dismantle their empire. Now Britain, they saw their industry, and they're apparently still at war with Spain and the Netherlands. But their prestige is basically nothing, and their military score is pretty small. That being said, budget-wise, someone did alert me to my attention, or, you know, that, uh, subsidies cost a lot. And you know what? I think it's time to, uh, cancel subsidies for all factories. Maybe two for that one. Maybe two for one, and we'll see what happens. And money-wise, we go straight up. Without me subsidizing factories, we make so much money. But then again, I did tax the hell out of my people, so. There you go, keep it like that. That looks good. I even lowered education, which is a big no-no. Bring that back up. Bring you, uh... You don't need that much more. And we have bankrupt factories. Which isn't good. But I can't do very much. The Montenegro government has been toppled. They're not worth it. I gain infamy. I don't want to lose infamy. I don't mind losing 5 prestige. That's okay. Fascist coup d'etat. Oh. So be it. So, <clears throat> right now, I can't go to war with anyone. It's HPM. I can't justify wars. I think that we gotta wait until, like, a while after to go to war again. Just because the Great War was so deadly. So, there's that. Uh, I did delete some of those ships over there. Now those are just transports. You guys are looking pretty, pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. You guys are making some more cruisers, which is great. So even though we have unemployed oh my gosh, look at all these unemployed people. Something tells me there's going to be a lot of immigration. A lot of immigration. Oh yeah, Novgorod? Actually, Novgorod. Aren't you like here or something? Uh, yeah. There we go. What do you have? You got, you have a cannery? Maybe you could use a cannery. Oh, you already have a cannery. Um, I want to give you guys a job, but... We don't really need a lot of this, and I don't want them to immigrate too far. I like having a big population. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do for you. Sorry. You know, why do you have so many crafts? There's jobs available here. You no, know subsidize that factory then. Ah, there we go. That's better. Oh, 82,000. Um, you know what? I will subsidize these guys just because I don't want that many rebels. And even though they're not profitable, profitable, I don't need to subsidize every factory. There you go. 2,000. That'll help a little bit, I suppose. Let's see. 10,000 there. That's not bad. We have a bright future head. Yes. Absolutely. Just kind of looking at all the craftsmen here. That's okay. As long as we're making money because we are less than a million dollars. It's an unfortunate thing that we have to do. Actually, and we have Montenegro here. Yes, they have become fascists. The fascist faction. Interesting. I mean, I'll help them build stuff, but I won't help them keep it subsidized, so. It is what it is, my friends. It is what it is. Cool, and we got more tax efficiency, which is nice. Now, here's my thinking. Since we can't go to war, I can wait a little bit to do more naval and army tax. But, oh, let's get some social alienation, mechanized mining, coal production. Yeah, let's get that one. Um, I want to go take out Germany sometime. That's going to be nearly impossible, since they're so strong. They have 464 score, which isn't bad, but obviously mine is more than double that. Suppress them, suppress them. Uh, they're only fourth in the world. Their prestige is why they're number one in the world. Sure, why not? So, the way I'm going to take out Germany, hopefully by the end of the game, crack down on the communists is to blockade them. Now we're going to have all of our military here. Like I will station almost every single army here to strike these guys down. But I will blockade every single port that they have. That is my plan to take them out. Uh, let's get some more administrative efficiency. That sounds pretty good to me. It doesn't take too long to get it anyways. Our industry is fifth. That's why I didn't want to really do this. Cancel subsidies, but you know what? I, that's what I have to do. Oh well. But if you think that's worth it, guys, go right ahead. And I can just see the immigration just... Oh my goodness, Moscow. Close. Uh, actually, you know what? I want to... I don't mind subsidizing that. Uh, yeah, we definitely going to need some machine parts. 
Cool. Oh, so they do that as well. I understand. Oh, they close the factory. That makes sense. Hmm. But I don't want mass riots, especially in a place where we have so many uh, craftsmen, so. Go ahead and do that. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. You have. Mm hmm. Why do you have so many guys making that instead of artillery? Alright, well. Help them out a little bit. For yeah, 40,000 clerks. That's a bit much. Russian Free Corps. Oh, war veterans disgruntled with what they see as failures of capitalism and liberal democracy have formed a free corps. An ideologically and, and paramilitary organization ostensibly existing to protect the state and homeland, while de facto promoting a fascist political agenda in one of our states. The corps already began flexing its muscles in local politics, threatening several liberal politicians, and maintaining a fairly intimidating uniform presence in the state. Ooh, ooh, I don't want more. Do I get more pop militancy? Um... I don't want more. I mean, if they're just pissed off now, that's fine, but whatever. Oh, that's good. We got reforms? Uh, sure, why not? Oh, don't tell me we're going to flip the fascism, though. That is... God dang it. I really don't want to see all these things closed off. Go and do that. Um, that's okay. Open this one up, too. Might as well. Um, yeah. This is not good. This is really not good. Cool. And reforms. Good school system. I mean, we still have child labor. Three, throughput's pretty good. Child labor restricted. Uh, integration, school efficiency. We got good healthcare, which is nice. Rehabilitation sounds more expensive. Capital punishment sounds like fun. But a school good school system sounds pretty good. Cool. Excellent education system happened to us. Nice. Very good. Now, Montenegro. You're you're going a little crazy here, man. You're going just a little crazy. The fascist faction... Oh, Romania. Um. I don't mind helping you, but if the Balkans are all going to follow fascism, that doesn't sound like a good thing. Ooh, in Montenegro, I bet, yeah. Cool. Round up the usual suspects. Conduct a real investigation. Yeah, you might as well do that. Nice. Now, I can't really afford too many... Oh, goodness. Things. That's fine. Uh, investment banks? Historical theory? I guess so. I'm really focus on the, these texts. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, boy. That's, that's a lot of bad boys right there. Go ahead and help him up for now. We don't want to fall to fascism. Good, good, good. Let's one guy that way. Oh, hello. Sorry, fascists. Not today. Maybe tomorrow. You know. Oh, what did I click on? Oh, I clicked on immigration, but oh my goodness. Look how many people are leaving our country. 10, 11,000 people are emigrating to Peru, the US, Canada, Guatemala. Oh, that's looking bad. Just because I closed my factories and I can't afford this doesn't mean you have to leave me. Netherlands is no longer a great power. What's going on here? Oh, they're beating up the British. Oh my goodness. The third Chinese war re- Oh my goodness, even the Chinese are realizing that we can take our lands back. Oh, no, no, no. Are oh, they even partially westernized? Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh that's really not good. Hmm. Hmm. Sure, you know what? I really don't like the British, but you know what? I don't want to beat up the British too much, and we are waiting to lower our infamy as well. Good, you guys come right there. It's fine. Still building some ships, seems like. That's nice, that's good and nice. So many cruisers. And we're trying to get level 5 naval bases so I can make some dreadnoughts too. Very nice. Alright, military-wise, we got... We need an infantry division there, which... Thank you. Great. Never know where we might need this, these guys. Uh, do we need them in Asia? One, da, 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 da. Cool, you guys come there. You need a horse. So... Does anyone have a horse? You got a lot of artillery. 
Hainan probably wouldn't be a good place to do it. Uh, I'll make two horses just in case. Ah, uh, yes. Actually, I will allow Britain to do that just because I want them to not completely die. I still need them kind of... Oh. Hmm. Can't go to war with them because we have a truce with them. What about Belgium? Oh, wait, never mind. They're allied with me. Huh. The Dutch aren't doing great. Egypt. Um. Sure? I don't care. Wow, people really don't care about being conservative. That's just fine, whatever. I like more reforms, please, thank you. Okay, we gotta build up a nice amount of cash reserves, but we're making so much money that, you know what? Maybe we can open up another place. Oh, definitely get the gear factory. There you go. I'll be out right there. Nice. Very nice. Uh, let's get some education. That'd be good. Oh, that actually hurt me quite a bit. Holy crap. Uh, change the population just a little bit. Fascist soup kitchens? The party's work is not illegal and therefore is not a government concern. Oh boy. It does help pop militancy. Uh, sure, I guess. Classics rediscovered. Do you have nothing better to do? It is good to see the classic receiving some attention. Socr Socratic? Socratic dialogues, anyone? Oh my goodness, I can't speak. Is that cement? Yeah, we need some cement. Oh my goodness, that's how many ooh people. Ooh. Can I afford more? Just because there's, that's a lot of people that could potentially rebel, and I'm not thinking that's a good thing. It's probably not a good thing. Help them out, help them out as much as you can for now. Get people in those jobs, even though they might not be worth very much. Russia goes to war? Despite attempts to convince the Tsar, Rush Rasputin's seen corp. Iliodor, one of the main Orthodox priests, had Kionia Gusseva attack Rasputin. She stabbed Rasputin in the stomach, just above the navel. Covered with blood, Rasputin was brought into his house. The Tsar sent his own physician, and after a lap laparotomy, and more than six weeks in the hospital, Rasputin recovered. From the hospital, Rasputin sent quite a few telegrams to the court, expressing his fear for the future of the country. If Russia, show, if Russia goes to war, it will be the end of the monarchy, of the Romanovs, and of Russian institutions. In 1912, Tsar Nicholas took supreme command of the Russian armies, leaving his wife in charge of ruling the economy, or the country. Alexandra loathed the Duma because of its discussion of Rasputin. While seldom meeting with Alexandra personally, Rasputin became very had become a personal advisor through daily telephone calls or weekly meetings with Vibruvova. Rumors began on how one really... What, how the person who was actually governing Russia? Well, at least we got that. Okay, but. I like less war exhaustion, but. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I should stop encouraging clerks here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh. I want to help out as many people as I can. Yeah, that's kind of important. Fascist newspaper? Read by the lower classes or middle classes? I guess we'll go middle class. Artaria. Oh, there's not too many. Oh my god, I knew this would happen. Uh, Switzerland, I'm okay, man. But, you know what? If that's the case, I'm gonna make sure we got enough supplies for the military. That'd be good. Oh, goodness. Oh no, we're losing so many guys. Just because I'm trying to make armies here. God dang it. Yes, no. The turmoil after the Great War, my goodness. Communists, the Greeks are still communists. Oh, what is this? What is this? Transdanubia? Um, Austria? Fascism is a lot more pro prominent here than in Victoria 2 base game. Uh, I'm, o I'm okay right now, man. I'm okay. Oh, the, the Austrian just gave it up. Holy cow. Of course not. Of course not. We shall rebuild. Yes, we shall rebuild. Wow, that's disgusting. Austria is, of course, a secondary power, which makes sense. They probably didn't like it that I just kind of gave up on them. But, you know what? Whatever. This has been one heck of a campaign, though. Of course not. Montenegro. Adam Desphere, even though the fascists probably don't like that, but whatever. Uh, sure, I guess. That's fine. Sabotage. That's not cool, man. 
Enforce the Russian curricula. That's good. You know what? Let's stop encouraging craftsmen down here. Actually, what are you guys doing down here? Use a few more bureaucrats, sure. Maybe some better ports, maybe? Perhaps? Cool, very cool. Permanent prestige, awesome. Yeah, we're fourth in the world. Oh, goodness, there's, an, there's uh. God dang it, people down here. Where are we building guys, like, armies? Nope, cannot. Organic work. Let it run its own course. I'm still allied with the Russians. How did Ching China get over there? What the heck? Oh my goodness, Ching China is doing a number on those guys over there. Holy cow. Do we have militant socialists around here? No, that's good. Very cool. We still have you guys down here, which is awesome. Sorry guys, but we need money. And I know you got no jobs, but uh, it is what it is. So everyone move to Haiti or Cuba. Yeah, Australia, there's France. Romania probably has a lot of fascists. Actually, hold on. Probably not too many fascists up here in, Aus in uh, Alaska. And again, I have no armies in Alaska. Belgium, why do you want an alliance? Uh, I don't... I'm going to lose some prestige here. Whatever. Rally point right there. Let's go with one, into it, two, three, and then four. Oh, we can get a horse too. Nice. Five. Not bad. Pretty good. Social alienation. That's okay. We can build more armies, but... Mm, Am I building that, those horsies? Kind of. Okay, Switzerland. No. Most likely no one's going to attack you. But we're going to say no for now. Ah, uh, sure. Oh my god, again? Yes, that's fine. You get a military access. I'm glad I kept my military score high, but Jesus. Oh, even... Oh my goodness. A lot of revolutions. Tons and tons of revolutions. I need you guys down here. And you guys are coming down here. That'd be good. Very nice. I might even raise supply just a little bit more. There you go. And, hold on. There's so many things going on that I can't see. Demand Yunnan. Wait, did they... Do How did they lose? Look, all everything they did? What? We did not kill the British hard enough yet. That's ridiculous. And we saw... I thought we dismantled their empire, but I guess not. Oh! Hold on. Oh, hold on. Here we go. The tr Oh, now we've done it. The Treaty of London. Our diplomats secured a rounding success in Petrograd as they managed to pry the rights to the colony of Burma during the last round of talks on the dismantlement of the defeated countries. The colony might rebel against the rule and fight for independence, but our exclusive claim to it is sure to make other powers envious of Russian diplomacy. Oh my god, India's free. India's free. And I got Burma. <laughs> Why did I get Burma? Oh my god, what happened here? Kenya? Oh, they're, they're satellites and puppets of the British Empire, which really sucks, actually. South Africa's, of course, down here. Um, Bayushin land, French Africa, British Africa. Oh my gosh. The Germans got a little bit. I just really didn't get too much. What even? What really happened here? So, obviously, Europe is Europe. So, I didn't get pretty much anything more here, which I guess kind of makes sense. Because the Germans did leave, leave the peace conferences. They dismantled or liberated a lot of puppets under them. That's disgusting. I don't... Uh, oh, Rhodesia. But I don't really understand at all how the dismantled empire works or stuff like this. Oh, I'm out with Transvaal. Oh, that's cool. South Africa. Hetheroland. Yeah, you guys should be doing that. Nice. More education efficiency. Let's grab some regressive or regenerative furnaces. That might help production. Of course not. 
But why did I get Burma? Oh, actually. Oh god, if... Can I go to war? And con get a conquest cast spell against India? I don't think I can. Oh. <gasps> Australia's here. Hello, Australia! Hello! Oh, that's so amazing. I love it. Oh, who's this? The Melee Federation. Oh my goodness. Oh, I need an army down here too. God dang it. Oh, you guys can probably do this. We have an yeah, we do have a good guy here. Great. Uh, we gonna need some more. Do we have any people here yet? No, god dang it. I really need to make sure these armies are all okay. Oof. Why are you still here? There you go. Um... Oh god, we got fascists in the army too. Oh my goodness. Tensions in Karelia. No, 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 no. You don't get freedom here. No, no, no. Oh god, this is disgusting. So disgusting. Oh, you guys are in the boat? Great. Head on down south. Hold on, what was that? William Cunningham? Huh. Who is... Noir? Oh, wait, are they... Wait, can India unite more? Russia and Nyasa land. Cool. I actually got what we wanted earlier. This is little territory. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, attack on Pearl... Is that, is that Pearl Harbor? Oh my god, there's so many rebels here. Oh, there's another stack there. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, they're, now they're moving. Yeah, the interwar period is really interesting. Oh. Denmark? Wait, how did you... What? What? How did you take over the Melee Federation? What? How? Russian... Nice. Very nice. Alright, so let's check this stuff. You guys are looking pretty good. You guys look pretty good. You guys probably shouldn't get any more craftsmen either. Um, oh, yeah. But get some guys there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, I can't do this? Huh. Interesting. Uh, we can do it down here then. I think it looks like they can use those guys. Oh, what was going on? Adolf Wagner. Okay, cool. Except transfer of the British colonies. Negotiations are still underway as which countries will obtain control over remaining British colonies and overseas territories. Uh, uh, what happens with that? I really... like. I've said it before. This is my first campaign in HPM on this channel. Oh, I got this. Nice, great, I love it. But, uh, yeah, this is really weird. So many immigrants are leaving. 10,000? It's better than 11,000, so. And we're still getting a rising population, which is pretty nice. We have a population of 184 million. I might just keep these guys here. Because even though the fleet isn't great, it is what it is, you know. Russian Laos? I'll get a little more infamy. Oh, this is why someone told me to. Oh my god. This is disgusting. Italy. Italy was in the war, too. That's why Denmark got this. Okay, Italy got... Oh, my God, this is disgusting. It's disgusting. Oh, wait. I don't want you to do that. Get off and do that. There you go. I'm, I'm going to keep that army down there, probably. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Actually, do you have... Oh, you can actually build another army there. Great. Uh, you need... Boy. I got Laos. I didn't even plan on expanding down here, but okay. Burma, welcome to the country. Bayushin land, welcome to the country. I'm glad I was trying to make sure my infamy wasn't too high. Oh. I'm mean, adding all these people, but we are we're kind of in the middle of like a depression or like a recession or something. You know, we don't have a lot of money. Even though I'm, I am trying to, you know, make sure that we open up more factories, which is doing better, by the way. It's doing quite a bit better. If anything, let's open up you guys, too. I have a little bit more funds to do this now, which is great. 
Drilling and blasting compound steam engine? Sure. Cotton gin, maybe? Impressionism? Eh. Commerce, market structures. Uh, you know, I haven't done this one yet. We'll do that one. Why not? Keep them ignorant. That's fine. Mark oh, wow. I get Chad. Amazing. And this is what I do not want to see. Ukrainian nationalists? I really don't want to see that. You ain't leaving me, son. You ain't leaving me. Oh, look how badly beaten this army is. Oh, that's not good. Oh, maybe they can win, maybe not. Oh, I don't like that. Organic work. Support the movement, of course. Nice. Crackdown on communists. Russia, right now, feels like a time bomb, just ready to explode. But maybe that's a point. After the Great War. No wonder no one can go to war with each other. Alright, you know what? We're making so much money now, I want to open up more factories again. Flop. 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 Uh, I want to make sure the Ukrainians don't feel like they want to rebel, so... And Moscow will be important, too. Yeah, we're making enough money that I feel like this is good enough to do for now. Go and expand that, because we're going to need a lot of people here. Excellent. Nice. Modernized central banking? Sure. Monetary-wise, we're not doing too bad still. We got a lot of rebels. Oh, we got... Oh, God. You know what? We wanted this originally. You paid the price for this, UK. You paid the price. Who are these rebels? Oh, the communists. There's a lot of communists. Obviously, fascists, fascists don't have a lot of support yet because they're relatively still new. So, the British colonies will take what we can. Gain two infamy. Our, our interest is only in limiting British power. We have no further interest. Oh, we lose two infamy. Dismantling country will be removed. We'll take what we can. I'm glad I'm not at war or anything like that. Oh my goodness. Gur? What type of uh, cultures? Gur. Interesting. That's Portuguese, I think, yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Yeah, I'm glad I'm going to keep an army down here then. Do they have any good RGOs? Oh, precious, oh, we got precious metals. Nice. There's a lot of... There's a couple of British people there. Cool. All rights allowed. Assimilation rate goes up. I don't... What do people want? Child labor restricted? Why? We have transportation. Incarceration. Let's go with incarceration. So many rebels. Oh, Sweden's a great wow, Sweden's a great power. Oh, you know what? I, I can't afford any more infamy, so that's okay. We already, I think we got already a lot of it. So Ooh, we want to make sure we want to keep high relations with Japan, the UK. Zero military score. They're still socialists. They have Orange, Nijet, Canada, Gopal. Cool. Yeah, industry wise, even the United States is blown past me. Actually, pretty much everyone is blown past me. I can't afford all that stuff. But well, military-wise, that's where we're at, man. America, yes. Keep good relations with them. German. Oh, Germany. Oh, that makes sense. German Tanganyika. They'll probably take a lot more court, you know, colonies now. Which is fine with me. Which is fine. I just can't afford the infamy. So, wait. Danish Vietnam. Hmm. Kazakh poet. Oh, well, goodbye, Kazakh poet. Did we get any other territory? I kind of hope not. Oh, so Oh, Germany colonizes stuff. I totally forgot about them. And America's over there. That's cool. Korea Islands. Anything? Oh, naval base. Cool, yeah, sure, sure. Alright, maybe I can expand some military-wise. Let's see, we need... 313. 313, three, so... Uh, we'll grab... Three, one, two, three, one, two, 
three. There you go. And then I'll send it to the east. Cool. This episode's been all about reorganizing, just watching, just death. It feels like the dismantling of an empire. I did not know that it would. It takes that long to actually dismantle the empire, which I guess makes sense. Actually, that's actually really cool. That's really really cool. But you know what? I'm still surprised that Germany does not want to go to war with France. There are Germans in the country. There are quite a few Germans there. Oh, that's precious metals too. All right, so Moscow is doing better. You guys are not doing great. I will go ahead and open up another steel mill here. That's fine. Rebellion inner ally. They're not worth it. Or press the claim. Has been toppled. Add to sphere. Uh, I just lose five prestige. That's fine. We're just going to sphere them anyways. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. Uh, go ahead and, ooh, they don't need subsidy. That's good. Cannery. Uh, do people need bottling works? Maybe. Nice. Yeah, people really still want to leave. Yeah, Austria is disgusting. That's really disgusting. How's Italy doing? Oh, there's something in the world for power. That's okay. Let time go on. The revolt of the mass is great. Less war exhaustion. That's cool. Oh, Newfoundland is independent. Holy cow, that's disgusting. Oh, great. Administrative admissions. Market determined exchange rate, which is good because we actually need that. Oh, National Banking Act. So, while the government... Uh, for some time, maintained as central bank, some voices within the economic debate have begun arguing in favor of non- or monopolizing the issue of currency to a strict government prerogative. Proponents argue that this will lead to an increase in economic stability, while opponents see it as a fundamental breach of the freedom of trade. Lose money? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, let's do that. I want to do this market determined thing, so we can do economic reforms down here. That'll be good. Oh, more, get more coal and stuff like that? What is this? Discriminatory school system? What? What? What do you mean, discriminatory school system? We discriminate equally among everyone. Alright, Port Arthur, can you expand your... No, you can't expand your port. That's cool. Uh, steel production output? Cool. More max speeds. Colonial archaeology. Display the bauble somewhere locally? Oh no, this will teach future generations about the common heritage of mankind. Oh, heck yeah. And the fascists have risen up. Oh boy. If you guys can, please take them out. I'm actually keeping my military spending high because you never know what's going to happen. You just never know. I mean, we could go to fasc... Flip the what just happened there? Flip the fascism, but... Eh. I don't know. Oh my god, the socialists have risen up too. Perm. That sucks. Finnish nationalists? Oh my god. Russia is kind of a mess right now, my friends. Just a little bit. This is why I kept my uh, military spending high. And if that's the case, keep the supplies high. Uh, just in case. I think people need clothes, so do that too. Wave of uncolonial unrest? Well... That's not the only place that's having rebels right now. Um, glass, military, small arms. I can afford a few more subsidies, that's fine. Turkestan, great. Of course not. Make sure we get lots of supplies here. Ooh, you guys are looking kind of weak. Do your best, do your best. We don't want, we don't want the Finns to rebel. It's not like they have ships, but you know what, whatever. Slowly but surely, we will get rid of all these people. Population says it's going up by quite a bit. But not really. Ooh, India. God dang, when you uh, beat the UK so hard, India asked for military access, yes. Uh, do not deny the rumors, I suppose. They are at war with the Dutch. Ooh. Of course not. New store, great. Good, taxes are okay. Administrative stuff, I kind of want to raise it a little bit, but social spending, we have nothing there, which is fine. Because the social spending, it's coming right here. Of course not. Oh, more rebels. Come on, man, seriously. 
Get people and working. Some making eight thousand. Some make over five thousand ish a day. That's still kind of okay with me. How does Germany not have any rebels? Oh my goodness! It's like a rebel simulator. Oh, but hey, with all this militancy, which continues to rise due to our infamy to degree, I suppose we can child labor rehabilitation sounds pretty good. I'm gonna keep getting rebels until I do child labor restricted. They really don't want children working for some reason. Uh, let's go with that rehabilitation. We shall rehabilitate the criminals of the empire, and then we'll get then we'll restrict child labor. I know, I know, it's 1914. It takes Russia some time to restrict child labor. What happened to the armies here? Uh oh, Germany, what are you doing? You're allied with these guys, Ruthenia, Hungary, Austria, uh, they're not. Oh, the UK, oh. They have, oh, oh. They have British fascists. Now, I can put my guys down. But, uh. Hmm. Now, fascism is the most interesting party just because, or ideology, because you can, like, swap and roll back reforms. Like, if you want slavery, you can do it as a fascist. You can get slavery, which is kind of wild. I'm not sure why you'd want slavery. Sla slaves cost a lot, apparently, so. And economic, it, economically, it just doesn't make any sense to have slaves. I'm looking at you, CSA. Are, are the armies coming back? They, hopefully they are. Oh, cool. There we go. Economic reforms. Mm. Oh, here we are. So if you want to read it, you guys can go ahead. Uh, cool. We're just going to go ahead and do that. Cotton. Awesome. Very awesome, my friends. Very awesome. Industry-wise, railroads. Nice. We can have probably a few more factories. That'd be good. We got a lot of craftsmen up here. Actually, there's... It seems like there's more factories than what we had actual things going on there. That's okay, though. Cool. Oh, Escalisi is going to need... I need to open this up. Yeah, probably. Um, machine parts are pretty good to have. I don't want to open up everything, because it's still West Galicia. But, we can get some steel. There you go. Oh, and now my money's gone down. But now my money's coming back up. Great. Friedrich List. Colonial education policy. Um, yeah, I believe resources could be better spent self somewhere else, probably. Is the army going to come back sometime, or are they just kind of saying, nah? Oh, there it is. Oh, of course not. Yeah, our armies are looking pretty god dang battered. Holy crud. Of course not. But, you know what? I guess, at this point, we will restrict child labor, because people really believe in that. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Oh, this is disgusting. This is really disgusting. Um, so you need three infantry and three artillery. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, let's keep a good 60 sec here. And three artillery. Hey, let's combine this army together. Oh my goodness. So we need three more infantry there. Oh, look at my military score has gone down. Well, the score has gone... Not gone down, but over here, the number of brigades we have definitely has gone down. Alright, so you guys need artillery and an infantry. Artillery. Infantry. Cool. And then I'm just going to make one massive army at a time once those guys are done. Admirals died. That's okay, since we're not really at war. Oh, the socialists have... Aren't they already socialist? But they... Oh, they have fascists. Oh my god, what flag is that? How are you still a republic? Or still a great power, I mean. Any wars? Yeah, they're losing, which is cool. Now, we're not making nearly as much money as we did before, so I'm not going to be making any more subsidies. Oh my goodness. Not Japan. America. British Commonwealth is right behind us. They have no military score. 
Uh, actually, we have a bigger industry than France, which is kind of cool. Nice. Very nice. Keep increasing relations, that'd be fine. War justifications, no. Cool. Sweden is... Sweden's not doing bad either. Not doing too badly. Alright, very good, very good. Traveling in core free trade? Free traders. Free trade is free trade? Um, Russian opium war. Oh. Where is that? Oh. Add to sphere. War reparations. I mean, they're allied. I don't really care. I'll be honest, I really don't care at this point in the game about doing that, so it is what it is. But what I really do care about is making some uh, big boy ships. Yeah, we probably don't need that anymore. Cool, we got a lot of transports. And if anything, build. make sure everyone comes here for now. Uh, we don't want, want that. We want one, two, three, four, five. And a ton of cruisers, too. Nice. 20, 15 cruisers. Nice. Awesome. Money-wise, we're not doing great anymore, but... Oh, oh we're doing okay. We're going to attend the six Olympic Games. Yes. Oh, Yugoslavia! Hello there! I'm glad you're looking beautiful. Oh, you actually took out Montenegro. That's great. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. New store in Sussman. Cool. Limited access to roads. That's great. Yeah, how much more can we divide up Austria? Probably quite a bit more. I'm waiting for time to go on just so we can finish that and end the episode once we get railroads. Or better roads, I guess. This is turning into, like, the Kaiserreich. Like, with me just exploding and having, like, almost civil war levels of, like, violence. I um, this is insane. Ooh, infiltration. Oh, aeronautics. Oh, my goodness. We need planes. So, I'm going to end the episode here. This was very, very interesting, if for me at least, uh, regarding all, all the things that have happened. Like, the dismantling of the UK. Wasn't expecting that. I need more navies, or more task forces. But, uh, yeah, this was really, really interesting seeing what has happened so far. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you all tomorrow as we continue to watch and hopefully defend our homeland. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.